Meditation is a the practice of looking deeply into the nature of reality. And the reason for it is that most civilized people are out of touch with reality because they confuse the world as it is with the world as they think about it. When all activity has ceased and you simply are, that's what meditation is. Yeah, so I'm here at a meditation retreat. A few months back, I took a five hour bus ride to the north of Thailand. My destination was a Buddhist monastery way out in the country. After years of trying to make meditation a daily habit, I wanted to go to a place where I could completely lock in and quiet my mind. A place with no distractions or familiar faces. And most importantly, somewhere outside of my comfort zone. Here, I will be attempting to live with monks for 10 days and complete daily spiritual practices. Meditating every day for a total of eight hours. Joining in ancient chants and living on very basic terms. This video is made months after my stay here at the monastery, but the spiritual lessons and realizations that I had there will live within me forever. This is the experience that made me become more mindful, more focused, and overall happier as a person. Been here for about nine days. It took a while to get used to, obviously. It's a meditation retreat. I've never done anything like this in my life. So each day, I wake up at like 5 a.m. We used to wear these white clothes. Like, I look like a dental assistant every day. We go to the kitchen and cut vegetables. We give the monks their food. After that, we eat breakfast. Let me tell you, it's been a powerful nine days. It seems like each day, like, meditations have been getting better. Each session is like two hours. We start with the walking meditation. very new to me. I've never done that, but it's like it's very peaceful and it connects you in a different way because you're moving, you're noticing things, but you're always bringing it back to the breath, bringing it back to your yourself. The 
the one thing I've learned throughout this whole experience is like being able to observe, right? Being able to observe the surroundings around you, your own emotions, your own thoughts, your own feelings. That's pretty much what Vipassana is. So the Ajahn, the teacher, is telling us that Vipassana means to see clearly. And that's exactly what I feel like I've gotten here is the ability to, to see clearly. You can just feel the spiritual energy here. When I first pulled up, like the sun was shining, like the flowers were so beautiful. It, it felt like a scene out of a movie. Let me tell you guys like why I came here. It's been an overload of dopamine, an overload of just distractions. I've been traveling all over the place. So it's been so hard to just like settle my mind. If you cultivate your body, if you cultivate your mind, your emotion and energy to a certain level of preparedness, meditation will blossom within you. This is exactly what I needed. Ever since starting meditating like four years ago, I've been very off and on. So I needed one place where I can just sit down without distractions and just sit in one place and just like truly go with it. But that's one of the beauties of this. It's very relaxed. There's, there are rules, but um, it's very relaxed. I think one of the things about enlightenment for me specifically is being able to connect and share that experience with others. And I've been able to create like friends from this experience like friends that I would never have expected from all over the world different backgrounds different lifestyles and um, I couldn't be any more grateful for that so what have I learned being here I feel like I've learned the power of mindfulness and the ability to just switch your mind from like autopilot which is what we're always on because we're always distracted with our phones with something going on in our life with even like a thought being able to switch on pilot mode and being the driver of this brain of this mind that we that we have everything is transient in this life nothing lasts realizing that and realizing the truth of the matter is that calmness and stillness is where it's at Vipassana is being able to notice that thought and just gently push it out of your mind until you just feel calm and still and that's what I've been able to do here and I feel like it's a skill that like you can use anywhere you can use with anybody imagine somebody says something to you and you get super angry rather than becoming that anger feeding that energy you're able to see it for what it is recognize the truth that I am not anger Anger is a thought, anger is an emotion that I may be feeling in the moment, but giving into that anger is essentially hurting yourself. So yeah, y'all, uh, I'm going to keep it short, but this is one of the best things I've ever done. If you ever have a chance to do meditation retreat, Vipassana retreat, highly recommend that you do it, but you don't need to go to retreat to start meditating you should meditate now it's hard at first but everything in life is a practice and build upon your practice like be consistent be persistent don't give up i'm going to dedicate myself to at least meditate once a day at least meditate once a day uh my microphone died so that makes sense